guys. Glad to see you made it over here to Hardway Farms. Uh, <clears throat> today we're going to be making some bee food. Winter's coming on strong. The, uh, well, fall's coming on strong. <clears throat> uh, and uh, we've robbed the bees for the last time this year. And uh, now it's time to make sure that they've put plenty back for uh, overwintering. <clears throat> uh, a lot of people are opposed to, uh, to feeding their bees. They say that uh, feeding the, the bees didn't need feeding before we started taking care of them why start now well they're expensive for one thing and you want them to have plenty to get through the winter uh, some folks say that uh, well honey from uh, simple syrup is fraud and uh, I would agree with that uh, that's why I would extract my uh, honey at the first of spring and do something like make mead out of it or just keep it for personal use and because uh, I only sell the hundred percent pure <coughs> raw honey I don't uh, I don't mix any syrup in with mine. I don't do anything like that. But uh, but now that I've robbed them for the last time, and especially since things are so dry, uh, I'll be uh, I'll be putting these feeder buckets out till uh, probably till uh, till just almost first frost. Uh, as long as they're <laughs> as long as the bees are out, I'll have these buckets out. And then once uh, once everything gets too cold for that, I'm going to make uh, <clears throat> some sugar patties to uh, put in a top feeder for them. Uh, we're going to start out with eight quarts of water, making it for five gallon buckets. Uh, so we're going to put 25 cups of sugar in there that will uh, make pretty much a 50-50 mix of uh, simple syrup for them. Now some of the uh, folks that I've talk to on the internet when I first started doing this I'd just mix the water and the sugar together and I'd bring it to a boil well there's lots of people on beekeeping uh, forums that say you need to bring the water to a boil first and then put the sugar in there so the past few batches that's what I've been doing so let's uh, let's get some water going here and uh, <clears throat> I've got my handy dandy favorite uh, stock pot I've got some wax in it I've melted some wax for uh, to give to a friend to use in making some uh, uh, lip balm and different uh, products, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Actually, making this syrup in will probably help me get the wax out. But this one's marked. I've got two feeder buckets, and we'll bring it up to the eight quart mark. Fill that one, and then fill this one, and then we'll put 25 cups of sugar in each one once it comes to a boil. So I won't uh, bore you with <laughs> boiling water. So we'll just bring you back when the water's boiling. Well, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, the honey and the differences I've noticed. This uh, this was the first season that I've extracted. I uh, had two hives all year last year. Uh, one of them didn't make it. Uh, the second one came on strong and uh, made it through the winter this spring and uh, did really well for me. Uh, and I've noticed something that's pretty neat about the about the honey. Uh, uh, both of these jars of honey came from the same hive, the one that overwintered really well. <clears throat> uh, probably in uh, late May, early June, I got 30 frames of honey off of the yellow hive. And it wound up looking like this when I extracted it. And that's pure raw honey. It hasn't been boiled, it hasn't had anything done to it, no syrup added, nothing. It was just pure spring honey. <clears throat> well, we had a really bad summer. Uh, really dry, not a lot of honey flow. And this, I got 10 more frames off of it uh, just a few weeks ago. And uh, this was the color of the honey. Uh, that's quite a drastic difference uh, between the spring and the... Uh, fall honey. They, they, they've got a different taste. They're both wonderful. They're both delicious, but uh, but they've got a different taste to them. This is more of a syrupy flavor, kind of like a sorghum syrup. <clears throat> and uh, I'm not sure what they were pulling off of, what nectar they were pulling off of when they come up with this, but uh, this has got a really, really light, sweet, sweet sugary taste to it. Uh, like I said, they're both great. They're both honey. You can tell they're honey, but there is a, a difference in the taste. It's awesome. Uh, 
Now these are my other two hives that I actually just started this year. I got 10 frames each off of these two as well. Uh, this one started booming uh, really early. I attribute that to the lightness of its uh, color. It was probably getting some uh, nectar off of the... Uh, they really loved my turnips when my turnips bloomed. Uh, you know, I let my turnips go to seed and uh, just put up enough to, for myself. I planted a huge patch of turnips and uh, boy they loved those little yellow flowers on the turnip and mustard and kale that come up. But, uh, but notice this is really light. And I attribute that to this hive here getting started early and then I extracted this at the same time as I extracted this. So, and it's wound up a little darker than this. Then this hive here, like I said, this is the violet hive, and this is the green hive. And the green hive is even darker than the stuff off of the violet, but not quite as dark as this off of the yellow hive's second harvest. So there again, I attribute this to having some spring uh, nectar in it but mostly summer and early fall nectar uh, I just found that interesting I uh, my my daughter my oldest daughter she's a big tea drinker and uh, she she was really impressed with the light stuff and she brought over a, some little half pound thing that she ordered on the internet and she held held that thing up you know honey specifically for tea she held it up to the light next to this one and this was actually lighter and evidently light honey is really uh, sought after in the uh, in the tea community <laughs> so anyway just a heads up you get a good strong hive extract their uh, their uh, supers out and uh, Put them back on empty and let them cap a few uh, a few frames up uh, early spring, and you'll probably have some really really light honey out of those frames. Just uh, just an observation so so far, you know. We're still learning over here, but anyway, still waiting for water to boil. Be back in a few. As the uh, boiling water cam over my shoulder here will tell you, we have boiling water. So it's time to put. 25 cups of, uh, of sugar in this guy and uh, here I've got my favorite fine measuring cup this thing is a uh, two quart measuring cup eight an eight cup measuring cup so let me uh, oh <laughs> I actually went to Sam's Wholesale and uh, was gonna or was it the other one anyway Went to one of the wholesale stores, <laughs> uh, looked at the price of the sugar, it's $18. I thought, wow, it went up. Last time I looked at it, it was $11. I threw the stuff in the buggy, went on up there with $100 worth of sugar, checked out, got to the truck, grabbed the bag, threw one of them in the back of the truck, said, oh, I grabbed 50 pound bags instead of 25 pound bags. I usually get 25 pound bags because my wife can handle those. Uh, so I've got to use these up. Big thing about the uh, sugar is make sure you use cane sugar, not the beet stuff. Uh, but I have a fly in here now. And the dog's barking. Sounds like I might have company. Let me shut the camera off and I'll put the sugar in the water, bring it back up to a boil, and I'll stop in. Uh, I'll pop back in here in just a second and let you see what it looks like when it's done. Back in a flash. Well, all right, guys. Uh, as you can hear in the background, I've got uh, my little butter, my little buddy Super Mario, in there playing video games. But I told you I'd bring you back and uh, and uh, show you what the uh, what the uh, uh, simple syrup looks like. It's still too warm to put out but uh, but that's the color and you know the funny thing is I was telling you earlier in the vid that uh, uh, some different uh, 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 
forums I've been on said uh, not to uh, uh, not to put the sugar and the water together before the water was at a boil and it, they said it made a difference in the color there's no difference in the color I, it's uh, and, you know and I've, I've seen that but just to go on the side uh, um, you know just to be cautious I don't want to hurt my bees I can't remember what they said it would it would give them something um, uh, but uh, but anyway like I said, this is still too warm to put out. If you put it out while it's hot like this, the bucket won't pull a vacuum. It'll dump a lot of your syrup out. Uh, you want to wait till it's absolutely room temperature. So I'll snap the lids on these two buckets. And what I'm doing now is I'm getting ready. I'm going to go ahead and do the other half of that 50 pound bag so that uh, <clears throat> I've got uh, I've got plenty of uh, <laughs> I've got to get back in there playing games. <laughs> but uh, uh have the other half of that 50 pound bag ready to go but uh but that's the simple syrup uh video guys and uh hope y'all are doing great uh hope you enjoy the new intro and stuff I, you know, i'm gonna work pretty hard on this uh hardway farms channel and uh, try to make it as entertaining as possible so anyway guys y'all take it easy uh oh off the caps from this last harvest 30 frames that's the that's the uh, beeswax uh, and this and this actually came off of the uh, caps as well as this isn't honey that was drained I'm gonna make uh, mead from this I've never made mead before but I'm gonna try it that's a, a half gallon and a about a pint there that uh, they just came from the caps uh, so you know once you put them and heat heat it up let the wax solidify and float to the top that's uh, but that's a whole other video uh, actually that's like three videos I think I've made like three videos right here in one but anyway welcome to Hardway Farms where we're doing it wrong all the time <laughs> y'all take it easy Jason out.